okay, here's your freaking beach nails. Constant reminder that while I'm over here adulting and working to support my nine kids and beef jerky addiction, you're busy Instagramming your thigh gap and forever 21 bikini on some beach in Hawaii. Hashtag beach life, am I right? <laughs> I hate you. We're doing four nails today. Here's everything you'll need. I'm using this gel me polish that has pre-cut iridescent mylar flakes as my base. Cellophane could work for this too if you have some leftover from the shattered glass nails we did a couple months back. After curing, I'm going to add a layer of clear gel around the outer edges. You don't have to do that, but it'll make it easier to mix the colors in the next step. Probably. Maybe. I don't actually know, but I figured if I said it convincingly enough, you would think I was a reliable source of information. So, anyway. Now I'm just adding some white dots and light blue and dark blue dots around the outer edges where I place the clear gel. And then I'm going to use a dotting tool to swirl everything together. Just swirl as little or as much as you'd like until you get the desired effect. Pop it under the light to cure and add another layer of clear gel over the entire nail. Grab your super secret stash of metal rings and shells and, I don't know, shiny sh** and start to arrange it on your nail however you like. In the interest of time, ew, get off my nail, asshole. In the interest of time, I finalized my design off camera. My bad, y'all. Seal everything up with a top coat and move on to the next one. But not before admiring your hard work. Good job. Now for the next nail, I'm starting off with a white gel base and baking for one minute in my UV lamp. We'll use a makeup sponge and create a gradient. If you don't know how to do this already, there are thousands of other people on YouTube who thought it was necessary to share the magic behind this technique a million freaking times. I cannot become a million in one. I just can't. You can do a brush gradient too, which I demonstrated in my frozen inspired shattered glass nail tutorial, but I think the overall effect is better with a makeup sponge. It gives the water some texture so it's not so flat and boring. There's no room for basic bitches on this channel. With gels, not unlike regular polish, sometimes you have to build the color a bit, so I did two coats. As you can see, the water has a stippled look to it, which I think looks much more like water than if you just did a brush gradient. I'm sealing it all up with a clear gel. Before I cure it, I will place all my white shells at the bottom and use a brush with a little white gel to create a couple waves in the water. Having the clear gel down first helps reduce the harsh lines. Also, funny story, this was supposed to be for my middle finger, but I used a thumbnail instead like a dumb idiot. That's why the final picture looks so awkward. Not at all because of the phallic item I'm holding. Seal it up with a top coat and it's finished. I started off by painting this nail with a silver glitter polish, then I cured it and I wiped it clean, and I applied nail tape all willy-nilly like. Then I looked at the camera display and was like, oh shit, I didn't press record. So then I pressed it, and now I'm painting the nail white. Be sure to remove said nail tape before curing or you'll be exposed to ridicule. While it's curing, grab two shells and a small half pearl. We're gonna make a happy little clam. Just add some gel inside one shell, put in the pearl, and add the shell on top with a bit more gel. Make sure you angle it so the pearl is still visible. Finished! Put it in the lamp to cure. After adding some clear gel to the nail, I added a ring of crushed shells and perched the clam in the middle. The lighting in this video is terrible. No more using natural light, it's too erratic. Also, sorry you didn't see the final result before curing. Adding a top coat and curing again, but my SD card was full. Amateur hour, I know. The last nail I've already done a tutorial for. It was actually my first ever YouTube nail tutorial. So we're just going to speed right through this. Paint the nail white, cure it, add a clear gel and start placing the iridescent glitter. Once they're all in place, cure it again. And one more time, more clear gel. Otherwise the blue will get stuck around the corners of the glitter. If that's the look you're going for, have at it. After curing again, start applying a very thin layer of blue gel. I honestly probably added too much. If you can't see the glitter shining under the blue, you've used too much blue. Wipe it off and start over immediately. After you're finished, don't cure or the next step will not work. 
start adding blobs of clear gel all over the nail. I tried to make sure a good amount of them were right on top of the glitter pieces so as the blue is being pushed aside, the glitter is revealed. Try to make the blob sizes random, some big, some small. It's more fun that way. Since I started in the center of the nail and it starts to settle down the sides, I flipped it over when I was finished to allow the gel to level and move back toward the center of the nail. Once it's ready, put it in the magic lamp and the genie will blow it till it's hard. Wait, what? It's difficult to capture glittery things on camera. I'm trying so hard for you. Please don't hate me. F that middle finger looks so stupid. Remember what I said in the last video about making mistakes though. It's how we learn. Like this one time I walked into a sports shop. Before you know it, I was running out with my pants around my ankles, sunflower seeds in my hair, and a shuttlecock planted firmly between my butt cheeks. Oh my gosh, I will never make that mistake again. Alright guys, I'll see you next week. Get off your ass and go create something.